guys welcome to our calibration of our model 600 today we are calibrating the hydrogen h2 hydrogen model 600 folks as you could see this is the model 600 the pump is running so first thing is first as you may know calibrating two steps first step is a zero calibration okay we want to make sure the detector is reading zero in fresh air when it comes to gases such as hydrogen such as carbon monoxide hydrogen sulfide and others if you are calibrating oxygen that is not applicable see the oxygen video that is a little different so first things first let's do a zero calibration keep it running in air for at least five minutes again make sure it is fresh air if you're not sure just take it outside in the fresh ambient environment go to menu click through go to gas zero click h2 we're selecting the sensor that's in the meter click save bang you've done it easy as that okay once you're done go back to the main menu congratulations the first step has been completed pretty simple zero cal on these guys is very easy next we need to do a span calibration we need to let the detector know 100 ppm is 100 ppm and you need to do that periodically okay so what do we need to calibrate you need your gas cylinder with your calibration gas now look guys this is my hydrogen gas 100 ppm read the certificate of assurance sometimes it's 99 ppm sometimes it's 101 ppm look this guy is 101 ppm it's one percent off so for those fanatics like myself that care about accuracy and precision that is an important point okay make sure your gas bottle is attached to a regulator this is actually a regulator that i've modified for my use but it is a standard c10 regulator that we sell and what's unique with the 600 model because it has a built-in pump we need the t-piece folks the t-piece is a must okay so the way this works is we pop in our gas supply on one end of the t-piece right over here the middle part we feed into the analyzer pop it into the barb and that's it and the rest the filter with small particle filter goes to the ambient so what's going on this micro pump continues to draw the bottle is off so in this case it's feeding this way into the pump okay now if we turn the gas on the gas pressure and flow will flow this way and whatever the pump needs it will draw maybe it's 0.3 liters per minute maybe it's 0.4 liters per minute whatever it is the excess gas will be taken out from here okay folks now we don't want to go direct to bottle like this because you will be changing the pressure the sensor sees based on your flow you want to keep the pressure constant that is why we use a t-piece very very important especially with any analyzer detector or anything else with a built-in pump the pressure has to remain close to one atmosphere of pressure that's why we do this it's going to be a little bit above of course um, slightly very very slightly but we want it as close to one atmosphere as possible okay now let's rock and roll so what are we doing guys <clears throat> what i like to do is just turn on the gas a little bit and i recommend you have a flow meter okay this is modified dr cos knows what he's doing he knows what the flow is simply by hearing the sound coming out but for those i recommend getting our fixed regulators that you exactly know what the flow is 0.5 liters per minute is what we recommend or you get the adjustable so you could see the flow okay so let's turn on the gas and we're going to expose it again to 101 parts per million of hydrogen and you're going to see the analyzer go up and let's see is it accurate is it exactly 101 parts per million if it's not we will be calibrating it 
Okay, so we've just exceeded the threshold of the first alarm. And again, I recommend giving it about 60 seconds. So let's come back after a good 60 seconds. All right, folks, we're back after a good 60 seconds. As we could see, 88 parts per million. It should be 101. So let's calibrate it. Go to menu. Go to gas check. Click on gas check. Put the code in. 1111. Sure. Enter. Go to H2. Now, here is where we tell the detector what gas we're calibrating to. Press edit. Go across, change the digits to the concentration of your gas. In this case, as you well know, it's 101. Let's keep going across. Press sure. Save. Bang. It is done. You could see that. We go back to the main menu and it's going to be 101 or hovering around there. There you see it. And right there, congratulations, you have calibrated your gas analyzer model 600, folks. That's the way you do it. Again, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, any other reactive toxic gas, that's the way you do it. Again, oxygen, look at our other video. There's another way of doing it. Once that's done, folks, take it out, close your gas bottle, take it to zero. You may want to come back and perform a verification. That's up to you. But there you have it. Have a great day and see you soon.